Hello guys. Today we are back again with another infinite chess battle. As you can see, here we have infinitely many bishops. It seems like, there is no checkmate for white. But there is a twist in the story. If you look at the board carefully, then you will be able to find a rook, sitting inside the bishop chain. But is it sufficient for checkmate? We will crack this puzzle using three simple steps. First, we are going to restrict the black king to the right side corner of the board. If the king manages to escape from the cage, then it will be difficult for us to checkmate the fishy king. With this idea, let's start the game with king b7. White king is covering the crucial d5 and d7 square. Hence the black king cannot escape via this two squares. In the second step, we will put the rook on the f file. From theory, we know that rook belongs to the open file. But here we do not have any open file for our rook. Thus we will shuffle the bishops in order to open the f file for our rook. This part is not that difficult. Now the f file is almost open for our rook. But the fishy black king is trying to escape from the cage, via d7. Thus first we have to stop that dude. Here we have to play king c6, in order to take control over the d7 square. After king d7, there is no escape for the black king. Now we will open up the f file with bishop e3. After king h4, and rook f4. Black king is trapped inside the rectangular box. In the next step we will try to reduce the size of the box. After rook f5, the size of the box is reduced. Here king h7 is the only legal move for black. After rook g5, black king have only two squares for his king, h7 and g8. Now we will reshuffle our bishops to open up the g file. We are just four moves away from checkmate. Thus the g file is open. Again reshuffle the bishops. Here bishop g5 delivers a discovered check on the king. Now it is a mate in one puzzle. If the king goes to g8, then rook h8 is checkmate. Similarly if the king goes to g6, then rook h6 finishes the game in style. How elegant. Thus we solve the legendary chess composition, goodbye.